Uh, praise the Lord. Topic for today, follow him. A disciple is a follower of Christ. That means take on his priorities as your own. His agenda becomes your agenda. His mission becomes your mission. Christ is not valued at all unless he is valued above all. Be assured, if you walk with him and look at him and expect help from him, he will never fail you. In the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 23 to 24, it says this, then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life, lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, will save it. Every day, we are presented with countless opportunities to honor God by following in the footsteps of his son, Jesus Christ. But we are sorely tempted to do so otherwise. The world is filled with the brim and with the, the world is filled with the, the brim and with temptations and distractions that beckon us down a different path. Elizabeth Elliot had this advice for believers everywhere. And this is what she said. Choose Jesus Christ. Deny yourself. Take up the cross and follow him. For the world must be shown. The world must see in us a discernible, visible, startling difference. Today, do your part to take up the cross and follow him, even if the world encourages you to do otherwise. When you are traveling step by step with the Son of God, you are always on the right path. The crucial question for each of us is this. What do you think of Jesus? And do you yet have a personal acquaintance with him? And of all the things Christ wants for us, loving him and focusing our attention on him are the most important things that we need to follow up. Therefore, my brother and my sister, Follow him. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. For me today, I'll tell, him direct, I'll tell you directly, follow him. He will direct your paths and your life shall never be the same again. Let's bow our hands and pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Because Lord Jesus, you created us in your own image so that we may follow you. And for those who know you, Lord of glory, you, became, you have become a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our paths. And therefore, Lord of glory, let it be so for this viewer. That, Lord, you'll be able to walk in their lives, O oh Father, as they follow you, God of glory. May you guide them to their ways of success. Guide them to the paths, Jehovah Master, of victory and prosperity. And more so, Jehovah Master, perfect peace and in good health. May you continue, Father, being a good Lord in every area so that Jehovah God of glory, they may continue exalting and magnifying thy holy name. I bless them, O Jehovah Master, today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray and we believe. And everybody say, Amen.